What's up, guys? Today's historical player that we're going to talk about is Nolan Ryan. Now, uh, Nolan Ryan is a little bit older, so today's youth may not have or have any experience with who he is. And I've got a note card that I'm going to break down. I wrote down some statistics and some things as to why you should study him and why I think you should study him. There are lots of players that you could study, but studying Nolan Ryan and some of the players, I have very specific reasons why I selected those players. And Nolan Ryan, it's for his just his determination. He played 27 seasons, and that's not hard to do. And he that was minor league baseball before that. And minor league baseball is not extravagant. You're riding on buses. You're it's not cool. Back in the 70s, when Nolan Ryan came up to the big leagues, it wasn't like the big league lifestyle that we see on TV today, all swagged out with the suit on and the chains and the showing up in the fancy cars. No, a lot of Major League Baseball players up until around the 80s, when Reggie Jackson was the first one to sign a really big contract, um, before that, they worked jobs in the off season. They they did you know baseball clinics or worked at just regular accounting jobs or they did other. Babe Ruth had other you know those guys had other jobs going on because they didn't make a tremendous amount of money. So that was one of the things. So to play twenty seven years, it's because he loved the game of baseball. It wasn't necessarily for the money. Now he made good money because he was in that eighties kind of time frame through the transition. So he made some decent money. But he didn't make near, nowhere near as much money as a lot of these players today. Like Garrett Cole, $324 million. I think Nolan Ryan made 324000 his first couple years combined. So um, it's, a, it's a different day and time. But 27 seasons at that time when it was hard, it was a grind. It wasn't a luxury, a lifestyle of luxury. It was hard and it was a grind and you did it for the love of the game, which is why I select Nolan Ryan. But there are many, many, many examples of historical players that you can study and learn from. And there will be an ongoing series, but these are just the top five. So let's get into it. Nolan Ryan was an eight-time All-Star. He was a World Series champion, 11 straight strikeout leader awards. So he led the league 11 straight years in strikeouts. Uh, his number was retired with three teams. He retired with 5,714 career strikeouts to go with seven no-hitters, both of which are major league records. Um, he was, his first no-hitter was 1973, and his last one was 18 years later at 44 years old. So, 18, so he went from his first no-hitter to his last one 18 years Right, I feel like sometimes we, you know, we put in a little bit of practice and we go try to perform in the game, and maybe it doesn't all come together, and we go zero for four with three strikeouts, or we've been working hard all summer, and at first at bat we strike out, or you know, the big moment and we strike out. Understand that greatness and success takes time. You've got to have patience. Now, patience is an active word. You're not just sitting back twiddling your thumbs. You're working. You're handling your part, but you're becoming the player and the person that you need to become to have the things that you want to have. Uh, my mentor used to say, when a man is ready for a thing, it is sure to appear. And I say that to you as well. When you're ready for the thing, it is sure to appear. So if you don't have it, go work a little bit harder, put in more time, but you got to have patience and understand that success takes time and you're not just going to have it overnight. Uh, as I mentioned, 27 seasons, that's a lot. That's a lot of seasons. Um, since baseball He's multiple businesses. He's ran baseball teams. So he ran the Texas Rangers. And I think he had something to do with the Houston Astros for a period of time. His son got into baseball and, and front office management. So it's kind of the family business. Um, so one other thing that speaks to his toughness and his grit and who he is. So yeah, he played 27 years and that's what everyone saw. What people didn't see is what was inside and that grit and the determination to be great and work hard and compete and overcome. All the things that you have to possess, all the, the intangible things that you just have to develop within you to become successful. Now, if you just want to play Little League Baseball and hang out and learn a little bit, get a little bit of exercise, great, you're welcome to. But if you want to be a little bit better and take that next step and learn more and study from the greats, that's what this series is about. Uh, one last thing. He tore his ligament that ended his career. And he threw it. He felt it in his arm. He tried to throw another pitch and tried to stay in. He threw one more pitch. And he threw that pitch at 98 miles an hour. 
Now, today it seems like everyone throws 98. But in the 1960s, late 60s, early 70s, when Nolan Ryan was coming up to the big leagues, people didn't throw 98 miles an hour, and they certainly didn't throw 98 miles an hour 27 years later, after he tore a ligament in his arm. The guy was just tough. The guy just, he just wanted to compete, and he just wanted to win, which I feel like is a lost art in our current society. People have forgotten how to win, how to compete, how to lose. You got to know how to lose. You Life... So, yes, in youth sports and things like that, you know, participation trophies and you get things for showing up, fine. But the reality is, is that in real life, that doesn't exist. You don't get a, an award for just showing up to work. If you don't do anything, you don't get paid. So, um, th yeah, Nolan Ryan, that's off, off on a tangent, but Nolan Ryan is a great example of what it means to be tough and to have grit and determination and perseverance. So I would highly encourage you to study him. He's from a small town, uh, not a whole lot of money, not a whole lot of resources. So which, if you notice, most of these guys have dealt with injury or they didn't come from much. So you don't have to come from much. You don't have to have the $400 glove, the $300 bat to go with the $150 cleats. You don't have to have that. If you're able to do that, great. But I assure you, it doesn't make you a better hitter and it doesn't make you a better person. So... I highly encourage you to study Nolan Ryan. He is the epitome of hard work and dedication.